This is Classical Conversations, Cycle 1, Week 15, 5th Edition, Science. This is number 128 in your Van Cleave, number 128, Prints. For this, you will need modeling clay about the size of a lemon. You will need a paper plate. You will need a seashell. You will need petroleum jelly. You will need a spoon, plaster of Paris, which I have here. You will need tap water, which I've gone ahead and put into my cup, and the cup. Before I get started, one thing that the book notes that is incredibly important is that no plaster of Paris gets down your drain. So make sure at your church that you do not let it get down the drain. It says it very likely can clog them. So do not let any plaster of Paris get down the drain. Okay, so to do this, the first thing that we need to do is take our lemon-sized modeling clay and place it on the paper plate. Okay, the first thing you need to do is flatten out your modeling clay onto the plate and then you are going to rub the outside of your seashell with the petroleum jelly. So I'm going to rub the outside the part that has a lot of texture. I think I'd like to add a little more, so I'll in just a minute. Do that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to press this into my clay. So I want to make sure that you can see really well what I'm doing. So I've covered the outside now really well with the petroleum jelly. And now I'm going to press this really well into my clay. <clears throat> then I'm going to take out my shell, trying to make a good indention of the whole thing. And then you can see my imprint, I think, pretty clearly that it's there. This is pretty clear to me that it's there. I might even try once more to press just for a deeper imprint. Okay, now I've done that. <coughs> Then you want to mix your plaster of Paris. So the book says that you use two spoons of water and four spoons of the plaster of Paris. It doesn't say if that's teaspoons or tablespoons. So I went with tablespoons. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm using a metal spoon because that's the size that I use to measure my water. And so I'm not going to change that, but I'm not going to mix my plaster with my metal spoon, I'm going to mix it with my plastic spoon because we don't want it to ruin my spoon. So it's three and this is the fourth one. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to mix this really well. Hey helper! Would you be willing to get me a little more water? I think I'm going to need it. Yeah, this does not look at all the way it should, so I'm going to add more water. and see if we can get it to this. The book shows pictures of us pouring. This is not going to pour. Thank you, helper. And I'm just going to put a little at a time and see if I can, oh yes, there we go, almost, it's already making it a little better. 
pink. Yes, this is good. Okay. The 4 to 2 ratio did not work. I would say probably a 4 to 4 ratio at least. Oh no, I want that on my dress. Okay, once we've done this, we're going to pour it into the imprint that we made in the clay. And we're going to throw everything that we've used away because we do not want this to get in our drains or anywhere else. I'm going to do a little as before. I just still feel like it's not horrible. And I know it's going to harden. So just let me do this again. Okay. Pouring now, pouring now into my mold. Smoothing it out. Can you see that? There we go. Okay. Now once we do that, it says that we have to allow the plaster to harden for 20 minutes. So I will pause this video and I will see you in 20 minutes. Okay, I'm back. Now we are going to separate our plaster of Paris from our clay. Oh yeah, you can tell very easily on both, I think. Here's my shell, so that worked well. And here is the clay. All right, this is the Y. My understanding is that the clay, just this, represents the soft mud. And organisms that made imprints in the mud dried, forming what is called a cast fossil. But if sediment filled in the imprint and then a sedimentary rock formed over the print, over it, then that is called a mold fossil. So here they are. This is messy. This was pretty time consuming. Um, I would recommend that you need at least one mom, possibly two mom helpers. I'm going to try to make sure that happens in our community. This was this is pretty messy and it was a little bit complicated. Um, the measurements on the plaster of Paris are not at all correct. It says, um, like I said, it said two spoons of water to four spoons. Uh, plaster repairs for this type of that did not work. I would say that you need probably eight to ten spoons of water to the four spoons of the plaster repairs. And it started setting really quickly. So I would say maybe make it a slightly thinner. I'm not sure if that's the best thing or not, but at least add more water. And I would not mix that plaster until you are absolutely ready to pour it. So do not pre-mix your plaster. Make sure that you have your imprints ready to go and then make a big batch of that. Have everybody's ready and then go all at the same time. And then you'll be right at the end of your time with this. So this will take the whole entire 30 minutes. And that's why there's only one for this week. So this is cycle one, week 15, science, Fifth edition, it's number 128, Prince in the Van Cleves.